Unfortunately, bullying continues to be common in schools, and now with the internet, cyberbullying has become a new threat. But according to Manretta Vega, a psychotherapist with Huntsville Psychotherapy and Counseling Services, the definition of bullying has stayed the same. Bullying is a form of degrading an individual, and it's actually more psychological, and it could also be verbal, physical, it could be violence of some sort, and it's form of teasing, but it's calling out differences in an individual, which is usually usually amongst children um, and teenagers. Bullying in all forms could have a very negative impact on the mental health of children and teens. There's the possibility of depression, anxiety, negative self-talk, negative self-esteem, and the, the major, I guess, impact of bullying could be the decision to complete suicide. And just as it's important to check in with your kids if you think they're being bullied, you should also look for signs your child might be the bully. Signs that your child may be a bully is definitely the, the anger and the uh, aggression. You know, you may see irritability. You may also notice a influx of friends you know, because they've bullied individuals to be their friends. You may also see an influx of items. Where are you getting this new coat from? Where are you getting this new book bag from? This could also look like signs of sadness or depression. Because most times a bully is projecting their feelings and emotions onto the other peers. And simply, if a teacher or other authority is expressing concern about your child, it could be a good time to check in. If you find out that your child is a bully, you want to address the actions that are associated with bullying. So let's talk about actions, behaviors, interactions as well. And then we call out the ones that are identified as bullying actions, behaviors, and interactions. Then we also provide alternatives for those actions. If things don't change, sometimes consequences are necessary. And working with a mental health professional could also help address these behaviors. Because if a child remains a bully, as they continue to grow, they find themselves being singled out. They find themselves not being allowed to participate in different activities because they are unable to not manipulate others or to not put individuals down or to not be mean or aggressive. And that can also lead to feelings of isolation and depression and anxiety. But ultimately, setting aside time to be with your child is everything. Just making sure that we are taking care of our day-to-day -day hustle and bustle, but have at least anywhere from 15 to minutes to 30 minutes to an hour to communicate, to connect, and to provide support. Sedona Meadows, Fox 54 News.